What is tsunami and how it's formed? A tsunami is a series of ocean waves with very long wavelengths, typically several hundred kilometers, caused by large-scale disturbances of the ocean, such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and underwater landslides. Tsunamis can cause significant damage and loss of life, especially in coastal communities. Tsunamis are typically caused by an underwater earthquake, which creates a large amount of energy that is transferred to the ocean. The energy travels through the water in the form of waves, and as the waves move into shallower waters, their speed decreases and their height increases. Tsunamis can also be caused by volcanic eruptions, which can displace large amounts of water, or by underwater landslides, which can create large waves as they move through the water. Once a tsunami is generated, it can travel across entire ocean basins at speeds of up to 800 kilometers per hour. As the tsunami approaches land, its speed decreases and its height increases. The height of the tsunami wave can reach several meters or even tens of meters, depending on the size of the earthquake or other disturbance that caused it. When the tsunami reaches the shore, it can cause significant damage and loss of life. The large volume of water carried by the wave can flood coastal areas and cause extensive damage to buildings and infrastructure. In summary, tsunamis are formed by large-scale disturbances of the ocean, such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and underwater landslides. These disturbances create a large amount of energy that is transferred to the ocean in the form of waves, which can travel across entire ocean basins and cause significant damage and loss of life when they reach the shore. The largest recorded tsunami in modern history occurred on July 9, 1958, in Latuya Bay, Alaska. This event, known as the Latuya Bay Megatsunami, was caused by a massive landslide that fell into the bay, creating a wave that reached a height of 1,720 feet, 524 meters. The landslide occurred when a large section of rock, estimated to be around 90 million tons, fell from the nearby mountain into the bay. What to do if you see a tsunami is coming? If you are in a coastal area and you see a tsunami is coming, it is important to take immediate action to protect yourself and seek higher ground as quickly as possible. Here are some steps you can take. Follow the guidance of local authorities. If there is a tsunami warning in place, it is important to follow the instructions of local authorities and emergency services. They will have the latest information on the situation and can advise you on what actions to take. Move to higher ground. If you are in a low-lying area, move to higher ground as quickly as possible. If you are on a beach, move inland and to higher ground immediately. The higher the ground, the safer you will be from the tsunami waves. Avoid areas near the coast. Stay away from the coast and avoid areas near rivers and streams that lead to the ocean. Tsunamis can cause significant flooding, and it is important to stay away from areas that are likely to be affected. Stay informed. Listen to local radio or television stations for updates on the situation and follow any additional instructions from authorities. Prepare an emergency kit. If you live in a coastal area that is at risk of tsunamis, it is important to have an emergency kit prepared. This should include items such as food, water, first aid supplies, and a flashlight. Remember that tsunamis can be extremely dangerous and can cause significant damage and loss of life. If you see a tsunami coming, it is important to take immediate action to protect yourself and seek higher ground as quickly as possible.